Hello friends, I am Caroline from the Khan Academy Kids team. Welcome to Circle Time. It's so wonderful to see you all here today. And I am here with my friend Sophie. Hi Sophie. Hi Caroline. Hi friends. I am so excited to be with you for Circle Time with Khan Academy Kids today because I heard we are going to see a very special surprise today. <gasps> we are. We are going to sing some songs with Katie from Super Simple Songs and Katie's Classroom. Let's all say hello to Katie. Hi, Katie. Hi, Katie. Thanks, Caroline. Hi, everybody. It's nice to see you. Let's go on a musical field trip together to the zoo and we'll see some different kinds of animals. And animals move in all kinds of different ways. Let's try moving like some animals together before we start our song. Okay, let's get up on our feet. Let's try and stomp the way elephants stomp. You stomp your feet. Woo. Elephants are really big. They have big stomps. Stomp. Stomp. You can make a big trunk like an elephant. I'm going to try an elephant sound. Here I go. Ooh. <laughs> you can try that sound too. It takes a little bit of practice. Stomp. 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 Great elephants, everybody. <laughs> Let's try moving like a kangaroo. A kangaroo jumps. Can you jump like a kangaroo? Jump, jump. <laughs> nice jumping. Let's try another one. Let's try swinging like monkeys. Monkeys swing from the trees. They grab a vine and swing over. Let's try this way. Swing. This way. Swing. <laughs> Swing. <laughs> nice monkeys, everybody. What about penguins? We might see a penguin at the zoo. And penguins do a funny waddle. I like watching the penguins at the zoo. Can you waddle like a penguin? I got my flippers out. Waddle, waddle. Waddle, waddle. Waddle over here. Waddle over there. <laughs> Nice job, good penguins. Let's try slithering like snakes. Slither, slither, slither. Slithering like a snake. Very nice. Can you make a snake sound? Nice slithering, everybody. Maybe we'll see some polar bears at the zoo. Polar bears can swim. They're very good swimmers. Let's swim like a polar bear. They move their arms like this to move through the water. Swim, swim. Swim like a polar bear. Very nice. Oh, I'm so excited for all these animals on our musical trip to the zoo. I'll grab my guitar. That'll help us on our journey. We'll go to the zoo all together, everybody, and we'll move like the animals. We'll start with the elephant. Let's hear your big elephant sound. <coughs> Let's go to the zoo and stomp like the elephants do. Let's go to the zoo and stomp like the elephants do. Let's see how you stomp. Stomp! like the elephants. Stomp your feet. Ooh. Great stomping. Let's go to the zoo and jump like the kangaroos do. Let's go to the zoo and jump like the kangaroos do. Let's see how you jump, everybody. Jump like a kangaroo. Kangaroo. Great jumping! <laughs> Let's go to the zoo and swing like the monkeys do. Let's go to the zoo and swing like the monkeys do. Can you pretend to swing like
like a monkey. You swing over here. Swing over there. Back over here. From tree to tree. Great swinging, everybody. Let's go find those penguins. Let's go to the zoo and waddle like the penguins do. Let's go to the zoo and waddle like the penguins do. Can you waddle like a penguin? Waddle, waddle. Waddle over here. Waddle over there. going on that musical field trip to the zoo we saw so many different animals and moved like them too that was a lot of fun i'll see you soon for another song back to you caroline thank you katie that was so much fun friends did you enjoy singing let's go to the zoo oh yeah everyone's nodding they really enjoyed let's go to the zoo what animals have you seen at the zoo before? And what did they do? Ooh. Well, are you ready, Caroline? I think we should do the actions as our friends say the animals. That's One of our friends says that they saw a penguin. <gasps> what do penguins do? They sort of waddle like this. Waddle, waddle, waddle. And what about a lion? And what about an eagle? Have you ever seen in the birds of prey section at the zoo? Flying. Flying. And what about a panda? Sometimes eating their Bamboo? Bamboo, yeah, I guess it's <laughs> eight. Yeah, so we, we have a lot of very fierce animals like lions, very waddly animals like <laughs> penguins, and flying birds of prey, and pandas. And there are loads more animals too. Yes. Mm -hmm. So speaking of pandas, <sighs> we are going to read a book about red pandas today. Red pandas, I thought that might be what we were talking about today. So see my little friend here? Yeah. This is a red panda sitting with me here on this log. So red pandas, this is a blast off reader book by our friends at Bellwether. Red pandas are mammals. They make their homes in bamboo forests. I wonder what kind of sound a panda makes. Hmm, I don't know. I've never heard a panda. But I think if they're making their home, it might be kind of a scratchy, screechy kind of sound. Oh. Hmm. Let's see what they do next. Yes. 
thick reddish fur covers their bodies. It blends in with the colors of the forest. Red pandas have long ringed tails. The tails help them balance on branches. Ooh, can you, that would be so tricky. It's like the pandas doing gymnastics. Friends, have you ever had to balance on a beam or even on a rope that's on the floor? It's very hard to stay very straight. And that's what the panda is doing when it balances. Mm -hmm. And it looks like they have a very large tail. Red pandas curl up with their tails to stay warm. Mm, can you find the picture where the red panda is curling up with its tail? Oh, yeah, I think that one closest to Cody Bear. Red pandas rest in trees during the day. At night, they look for food. Hmm, that's surprising that they look for food at nighttime. Yeah. And they sleep during the daytime. Yeah, do you know what that's called? No. It's called being nocturnal. That's a big word. It's nocturnal. They stay up at night and they're really active and then they sleep through the day. It's the opposite of most of us. That's right, because we sleep at night. Mm -hmm. Their favorite meal is bamboo. They nibble on bamboo shoots and leaves. Look at that panda eating the bamboo. Oh, hi, panda. It's like the panda was waving to us. Mm -hmm. They also enjoy fruits, flowers, and acorns. Sometimes they eat bird eggs. Which one do you think is the acorn in the picture? Looks like there's some flowers. This one might be the acorns. Yeah. A female red panda builds a den with plants and twigs. She gives birth to her cubs inside. Do you know what a den is? Ooh, I think it's a little bit like a cave or a very sheltered, cozy place for the panda to go and have her babies. Uh-huh, that's right. Mom carries a cub with her mouth. Let's go, cub! Oh. <laughs> that's funny that she uses her mouth. Yeah, well, she probably needs her all of her hands and legs for walking. That's a good point. All right, friends, did you enjoy that book? Yes, I enjoyed that book. How about you, Caroline? Did you enjoy that book? Yes, I learned so much about red pandas. Friends, so we have a show and tell for today from a friend from Nepal, and her name is Arakina. Oh, wow. I can't wait for this show and tell. A show and tell is where our friends who are joining Circle Time at home, it sounds like from around the world, send us in their drawings and even videos of little things that they've made or sometimes their creative projects. And we get them and we look at every one and we love it when you send those in. So let's look at Arachnia's drawing. So this oh. is Arachnia and she sent us three of her drawings. Wow. And I think she did them around the time of Earth Day, so they show so many wonderful outdoor scenes. Mm -hmm. Friends, what do you see in these drawings? Well, I asked my friends, we see a lot of green. We see maybe the one next to Arachnia is, it looks like it's her dad and he is I think coming home from work and he's got his work bag and maybe his umbrella. Maybe it rains a lot at the moment in Nepal. It looks like it's raining down and the grass is so green because it got so much good rain. So that's actually a great thing. Mm -hmm. And there's a flower popping up on the green grass. A few flowers maybe. Oh, wow, yeah. They're probably having a good time growing because they had all that rain. And then I see, it looks like it's a fruit tree and Arachnia's mom. And there's a little person in that 
as well. And then I see another one that I love with an ocean and lots of fish and even butterflies. And maybe that's a bridge. Uh -huh. And birds in the sky and it's a sunny day. Oh, wow. Love that one. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Rathnia, for your show and tell. And friends, we would love to see your show and tells. So maybe make some things at home and have your parents help you send them to us. And now it's time for us to say goodbye. Goodbye for now from Caroline and Sophie and the Khan Academy Kids team. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye, Bye. friends.